All right, everyone, we're going to go over the snow math problems. We're going to look at number one, and it says, while snowstorms in Boone, North Carolina, routinely leave up to five feet of snow, and we know that it's probably not going to snow that much, but I created this problem just to, just to have some numbers. Uh, but it's going to leave up to five feet of snow on the ground. The first winter snowstorm deposits, on average, 18.7 inches of snow. According to the Public Works Department, the snow removal rate is directly proportional to the number of inches of snow falling. Four, the town's fleet of snow plows uh, to clear all the roads after a storm, leaving 10 inches of fresh snow on the ground. It takes 25 minutes. So they're busting a move. They've got it together. It takes one hour to clear the town's roads of 24 inches of freshly fallen snow. If the rate of snow removal remains constant, how many minutes will it take to clear all the roads in the town after the first winter snowstorm, assuming that it deposits 18.7 inches, uh, 18 inches of snow? Express your answer to the nearest minute. What did everybody get? 47, 47 minutes. 47 minutes. Awesome. So you guys got it going on. But I'm going to show you how I work. Because I work my pesticide calculations a lot different. Two. So I got M equals minutes to clear. Eighteen point seven inches. And then I took my ten inches over twenty five. So we had a ten inch snow, it took twenty five minutes. And then we're trying to figure out how long. It's going to clear 18 seven inches of snow. So M for the minutes. So cross multiply. We have 10 M equals the 25 times the 18.7, which gives me 46 point well, 467.5. And then <laughs> I divide by 10. It's going to give me 46.75. And I round it off to 47 minutes. So pretty easy, right? I did a lot of stuff, but yeah. I said 18.7 divided by 10 gives 1.87 times 25. Yeah. Yeah. I, I did my yeah. I the way you yeah. did. There's yeah, several. there are lots. Because I, I did 24 over 60 equals 18.7 over N, and you get the same thing anyway. So, I mean, just a proportion. And I'm just showing you how to get it yeah. cross multiplying. Some people, yeah, will do it in their head. Some people will use a calculator. But these are the steps that I think. It's easy enough. I think that was the hardest problem, to be honest with you. Because there's a lot, of, there's a lot of information in there. Yeah. Yeah. Just a bunch of words. All right, number two. After each snowstorm in Greensboro, North Carolina, North Carolina plows uh, plows remove uh, snow from 762 lane miles of road, which is equivalent to about 48 million square feet. The snowfall total was 3.42 inches in Greensboro last winter. Uh, suppose every snowfall evenly blanketed all road surfaces. How many cubic feet of snow were plowed last winter in Greensboro? How many cubic feet did you guys come up with? I got one, oh gosh, 136,000,000. Yeah, 136, 800,000. Yep, correct. Four, Good job. Huh? I got 5 million. Yep. 66,000. No, yeah, it's, it's just because you, you divided by 27. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah, you oh, don't you told me that. to do that and I didn't correct you. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So, to begin with, started out with 34.2 inches. What am I going to divide by? Over 12. 12. 12 inches. That is going to give me 2.5 feet. Mm -hmm. And then I'm going to multiply that times what? 48 million. 48 million. Which gives me the answer. 136,800 cubic feet. So 
So very, very, uh, very simple. Good job. Make some money doing this, can't you guys? <laughs> Only if we have a bad winner. Yeah. All right, for number three. Now suppose that one cubic foot of snow weighs about 15 pounds. Based on this information and the last problem, so problem number two for us, uh, approximately how many tons of snow were plowed in Greensboro last winter? How many tons did you guys come up with? Oh, tons or pounds? Let's see. Tons or pounds? How many tons? How many tons of snow were plowed in Greensboro last winter? So to get tonnage, you divide your pounds by 2,000. Yeah. I have 1,026,000. Yeah. There you go. Good job. Well, I don't know how y'all, this may not be the way y'all did it, but I did, uh, I tried to make notes, 136,800,000 cubic feet times 15 pounds per, end up like 2,052,000,000 divided by 2,000, which yeah. come, that's the way I did it. I just, yep. I just divided, million, please. I just divided the person by 2,000 and then multiplied that by 15. So say some of these are you can do them multiple ways. Multiple ways so. It's just like pesticide now. Two thousand, and I get the one million twenty six thousand. Everybody, see that? It's mm -hmm. a lot of snow piled up inside the road. <laughs> Actually, I don't look at that part. I'd be wrong. Check this thing. Yeah, it looked like a really big number. So I was like, that's a, that's a lot of snow. <laughs> yeah. It's a lot of roads. Yeah. It's snow is heavy. So for some reason, I was thinking a ton of 2,500 pounds. Well, there's. Yeah, they're um, um, different. Yeah, there's, there, there are different tonnage. Yeah. We used the 2,000. The 2,000. There's also a Canadian ton, which is different. One of them is 2,500 mm -hmm. or 2,500 even, I believe. Can you look it up on the internet? All right, now this is a little tough. Yeah, right. Are you sure? Mm -hmm. Are you sure? I don't know. We did this one together, remember? <laughs> All right, number four. Best friends Bill and Josh work at Wake Forest University. And these are two guys I actually know that work at Wake. <laughs> so, where it snows, an average of 55 days each winter. We all know that we don't get 55 days of snow. This is a theoretical question. They take turns shoveling the walkway after each snowfall. Josh can shovel the walkway in 22 minutes, while it takes takes Bill only 14 minutes to shovel the same silo. How many minutes will it take Bill? I mean, what will it take? How many minutes will it take to shovel the walkway if they work together? Express your answer as a decimal to the nearest tenth. All right. So, and of course, I'm going to show more math than you guys probably did. I didn't use a calculator. Uh, Josh takes 120 seconds in a minute. I have Bill, 114 in a minute. I'm just writing down the information that the problem gives me. And so if we're going to combine the two, 122nd plus 114, I'm trying to find x. So we need to get a common denominator. Mm -hmm. That's what I worked for. I came up with 154. So I have 11 over 154 plus 7 over 154 equals 1 over x. 
So I'm going to have 18 over 154. And that is added equals 1 over x. And I can reduce this. Mm -hmm. I can reduce the 18 to 50, 1 over 54 to 9 over 77 equals 1x. And then we cross multiply. So I have 9x equals 77 equals 8.55 or 8.6 minutes. Is that what everybody got? I just got eight. <laughs> That's what I got. Yeah. I mean, going off that, you could do nine minutes. I guess. A little more than eight minutes and a half for them to do it together. I just did the twenty-two minus fourteen. Those are just putting them together. So I just got the eight. A lot simpler than what you did, but what you did makes a lot of sense. So. Any questions on it? Think about this though. If just think about the campus here at Forsyth Tech. Look how many sidewalks we have here on campus, and each maintenance guy has to take care of one sidewalk. We'll say they get some extra help or whatever. And they team up. How long will it take them to clear all the sidewalks? That way we won't have to cancel school anymore. I hate having to cancel school because of snow. So. Oh, they canceled school because of flurry. Before I got that tech alert, last spring I came to school and the school was closed and all weather was flurry. They closed school with nothing. No, I love snow. Don't they close it because the roads are bad, not the sidewalks? Yes. Yeah. It's more about safety yeah. liability. Somebody comes up here and falls, and then the school's yeah. liable because it's school property. So if yeah. you didn't do due diligence, a lawyer could say, hey, y'all didn't. Yeah, y'all had school, you didn't properly prepare, this person failed, busted a leg, y'all responsible. I'm just yeah. saying. So it's easier just to cut it off. And See but they, they base it on road conditions. Yeah, so if we can't if we can't get here to like place, place, we'll City of Winston's what they uh when I called here one time last year, I believe, they said they get their information. I said because I asked them, I said, Well, who makes the call? They yeah. said actually they call the city police and they talk with their transportation people and they tell them what the conditions okay. and then they go off of that. Okay. But uh where's Gastonia at where that guy was killed where he had black ice? Charlotte. Yeah. South of Charlotte. Yeah. Almost That's at the border. Pretty far south. I didn't think we'd get that cold to get black ice. I was mobilized to Camp Shelby, Mississippi last year. We had four snow days in the Army. They shut down Hattiesburg That's rare. because of snow. That's rare. The U.S. Army closed operations because we had so much snow. I was an hour from the beach. <laughs> in southern Mississippi, and I mean, we the ground was covered white for four days. All right, one of the responsibilities of Mr. Jones Property Management Company in Winston Salem is to clear the snow from the parking lot and walkways of Tanner's Run condominiums. He's trying to decide which of the programs offered by Elite Landscape Service and Nursery Snow Removal, as shown below, would best suit his needs. So what we're doing is we're pricing snow removal. And a lot of property management companies are going to, they, they're going to want the best, they're going to want the, uh, the best deal for their money. And what we're trying to do is, based on last year's snowfall, Mr. Jones estimates that he will need to have the plowing done about 35 times, which option will cost him the least amount of money. So, again, it doesn't snow 35 times here, but we have... A good problem to work out. Well, option A, for each time that it snows, Tanner's Run pays $225. Mm -hmm. Well, 78, yeah, that would be 78.75. So we'll do A. So 225 times 35, 35 equals. 78, 7, so that's what they're going to look at paying. Option B, 
two payments of three thousand six hundred and fifty-two. Seven thousand three hundred and four dollars. That's for unlimited clearing. Mm -hmm. Unlimited clearing. Mm -hmm. So. B thirty six fifty two times two times payments two is seven thousand three hundred and four. So we're already cheaper here mm -hmm. for the property management company. Option C three payments of two thousand three hundred and sixty four. That's seven thousand six hundred eighty-three. So, still, that's the cheapest price. Mm -hmm. And then D, one payment of seventy-two hundred. So there's no math in this. Just, <laughs> just seventy-two hundred dollars. And that again, uh, is for unlimited clearing. Okay. So, which is the cheapest? D. It's just the cheapest. D. But what, based on this, which do you think would be fairest for both parties? Now, if I'm, if I'm doing this contract. I would do so A, a probably, no. to make it, because it's every, every trip. A would be fair for both parties. Because what if it only snowed 27 times? Yeah, what if it only snowed 15 times? Okay. And you're getting 225 per push. It's not a bad, bad thing to do. It took us less than an hour to do this condominium complex. Or what if we did the unlimited clearing? They said it snowed 35 times. What if it snowed 50 times? Yeah. As a, as a plow contractor, your pocketbook's getting hurt, and you've invested all this, all this time here that you're not getting paid. You're doing it 15 more times. So I like doing it per snow event. How much? It's my personal preference. I'm well, amazed you didn't make that a question. Hmm? So I'm amazed you didn't make that into a question. Oh, for this worksheet? Mm -hmm. I think it's in the online lecture about snow. Talking about pricing. But I like per snow event pricing. I get X amount of dollars. Same way with my pine needles, guys. I don't like putting out pine needles per bale. I don't want to say I'll spread pine needles for $750 a bale. I'm going to give my client a price and say, I'm going to install pine needles at your properties for $2,000. And, you know, I may find some nicer bales. The bad thing about pine needles is what? Uh, Somebody's bale is a lot less heavier. There's some bales that you can pick up three per hand. You can tote three bales around just like this. There's some bales that you purchase that you got to take both hands and reach down and pick up. Well, if I'm only getting 750 per bale, right. and I get these huge bales, you know, I'm losing sure. money. So I figure I can figure out how much pine needles by looking, and you'll you'll learn to do that. You know how much will go in this bed right here, or outside the window. You'll be able to calculate in your mind. Uh, it'll take 12 bales to do pine straw. And then you just give them a lump sum price. All right, so we'll move on to number six. This is a little tough one. This is a little tough one. Tom shoveled snow from his driveway in the driveways uh, of three of his neighbors. Mike shoveled snow from six driveways. Tom started at 3 p.m. and finished at 6.45. Mike started at 11 a.m. and finished 30 minutes before Tom started. Each driveway in Tom's neighborhood is 100 feet long, while each driveway in Mike's neighborhood, uh, neighborhood is 25 yards long. Tom and Mike both have the same size shovel, and each neighborhood has four inches of snow on the ground. Who shoveled at a faster rate? Uh, I put Mike. Yeah, Mike, Mike. Uh, each driver took him 12 and a half minutes, I think. Yeah, Which is faster than Tom. <coughs> Tom took like how a, many? an hour plus on each driver. So how much, how many, how, excuse me, uh, how many feet per minute for, for uh, Mike? 2.142. Okay. And what'd you get for Tom? 
1.777. Okay. Is that right? Yeah, I rounded up to 1.8. Oh, okay. so. And then oh, I, so it was I, Mike? Yeah, Mike, okay. Mike shoveled at a faster rate. He's moving some snow. He's hauling. Yeah, you might want to do this for your employees. Yeah. Who gets the bonus? <laughs> All right, so I'm going to write down Tom's information here to show how we worked it. He did four driveways. He did it in three hours, 45 minutes. Um, and he did 400 feet. He did four times 100 feet. Good um, 400 square feet of driveway. So, Mike, on the other hand, Mike did six driveways. He did two more driveways. He did three hours, 30 minutes. And he did it. He did 150 yards, or 450 feet. Because how many feet in a yard? Three. Three. So three times 150 is 450. So let's jump back over to Tom. Tom did 400 feet, and he did it in 225 minutes. Equals to 1.8 minute. And I took a step further. I mean, that's you know the answer. Or I did 225 minutes. Um, minutes. Equals 0.5625 minutes. One foot. Moving this much or writing it in that form. This is what we're going to go by. And then Mike did 450 mm -hmm. over 210 minutes. That was in feet. Equals 2.1428 over one minute or rounded to two point. One four feet per minute. Easy enough. Yeah. So I'd hire Mike. I would fire Tom. <laughs> I did mine really differently, but I did it um, off how long each driveway was, mm -hmm. and by how many divided by how many drivers that they shoveled. So for Tom, it was a hundred by three, which was thirty three point nine minutes, and then Mike was the seventy five by six, which is just twelve and a half. So I was like, you know. Obviously, Mike did more going off how long it took him. So, I mean, again, that makes sense. It's just a little bit more in depth than my version. But everybody get the same answer. Yeah. Okay. This was fun one. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now we're still dealing with the same problem, still the same guys. If Tom charges 50 cents a foot, Mike charges 30 an hour. Who will make more money? Tom. Tom. Tom, yeah. Tom made more money. How much did Tom earn? Tom was $200. Oh, yeah, 200 How much? Mike's more than that. Mike's five. was, I put money, but that's how all the y'all. I got a one point. I got 112 for Mike. Mm. Let's do it. All right. Mm. Tom. Tom is, uh, he's 50 cents mm -hmm. per foot. Times four hundred feet. Four hundred feet equals two hundred. Equals two hundred dollars. Not bad for an afternoon. Mike, he's thirty an hour. Times three and a half hours. I got one twelve fifty. Um, um, per hour? Well, I no, because huh? uh, look, 
30, it took, three hours it took at thirty dollars is ninety, right? It took them three hours. And then and a half an hour of thirty is fifteen. Because see, so I ninety didn't, plus fifteen is one hundred five. Because I didn't count the you thirty, 30 minutes. times three point five. That's three and a half hours, and that gives you one hundred five. Yeah. yeah. I just didn't count the 30 minutes because it was per hour, so I just didn't know. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah, you did three hours, which is 90 bucks, and then you did right. half an hour, which is half of 30, which is 15. 105. Let's give you the benefit of the doubt. $105. So now you're reconsidering. Hey, 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 top hey. working for you made you more money. Right. I was giving him, I gave him extra hours. <laughs> <laughs> Seven bucks an hour. Nothing on the book. Well, good deal. Good deal. I wonder why I missed that on the calculator. <laughs> it's a new <laughs> Distraction. Okay. Well, let's see. For number eight, if Tom charges twenty-five fifty per hour, Mike charges a dollar per yard. What is the difference between the amount of money Tom makes and the amount of money Mike makes? It's just the ninety-five dollars. Oh no no. For Tom, it was uh, Tom. What Tom's ninety five sixty yeah, three. Right. Correct. And, then and Mike, Mike is fifty four thirty seven. Yeah. I'm sorry, Mark's one fifty. The difference is fifty four thirty seven. Yeah. Fifty four thirty eight. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. You're off. Penny. <laughs> You're off penny. <laughs> so, I got. Tom had 9562 and Mike had 150. 9563. Oh. Tom was 2550. Per hour. 650 plus 1913 equals 90. And he did it. 3.7. 5 hours. Well, you just know, you know, he's twenty-five fifty per hour, and he worked, you know, three hours and forty-five minutes. Mm -hmm. So he had the ninety-five. <laughs> Mike, a dollar. I didn't round up. It's ninety-five point six two five, and it's still up at even sixty-two. Well, five you can go either way, Jason. Mm -hmm. No, it's not five either way. He had 150, so 150 minus 95, 63, equals to 54, 37. Questions? No flights here. We got. <laughs> If Tom and Mike charged by the hour mm -hmm. and each made 150, how much did they charge per hour? Got forty dollars even for Tom. Correct. And Mike forty two eighty six. Correct. Uh oh. Yeah. I was right by Tom, but not for Mike. So Tom is 150 mm -hmm. divided by three point seven five. That's 40 bucks an hour. Mike. This pen is going out. Yeah, 150 divided by the three. 42.86. Easy enough. Mm -hmm. Okay, if you get 5,000 square feet out of a 50 pound bag of ice melt, uh, and we're doing pre treats, how many bags will it take to do a one acre parking lot? I did nine bags. Nine bags. So we have acres, we have 43,560. That number will never leave y'all's minds being in the landscaping business. We have a 5,000 square foot bag. That's going to give me 8.712, and I just rounded up to nine bags. That's for pre-treat. 
Well, suppose you can only get 2,500 square feet out of the same 50 pound bag of ice melt on icy surfaces. So we've already had a snow event. How many bags will it take for the same one acre park lot? 18, 18 bags. Times by two. 18. 18 is number 11, 10 is nine bags. Mm -hmm. So. Be careful when you have your guys go out and pre-tree because they may put out more than they need and you've lost money. You know, we're only putting out, you know, pre-tree, we were putting out nine bags for for a uh, parking lot. Well, you don't want the guys going out putting out 18 bags two different times. You're not going to get paid for it. If ice melt for 50-pound bag costs $12 a bag, how much money will it cost to pre-tree the one acre parking lot. Two hundred and sixteen bags for mm -hmm. eighteen bags. Pre treat. Oh, that's uh that's five thousand. Yeah. It's one oh eight. It's one oh eight. Twenty five hundred is two sixteen. Yep. So we just say nine times yeah. twelve dollars equals eighteen for the pre treat. Right. And then the twelve times the eighteen times twelve. Uh, two sixteen. That's one hundred eight. Two sixteen. And second to last, if we were to use salt spread by a truck on the one acre parking lot, but you didn't do thirteen. Yeah. Oh no, thirteen was two hundred sixteen. Two sixteen. Yeah. Okay. It's well, just se it. separate answers. Yeah. I put Fourteen. If we were to use salt spread by truck on the one acre parking lot and you apply one ton per acre, how many pounds per square feet would this be equivalent to? Twenty-two pounds. Right? Is that what it all? I got them down to pounds. Why? I just can't get pounds. I got point nine six four one. I got one ton. Over forty three thousand five sixty. Yeah, and then two thousand. It's equivalent to two thousand over forty three thousand five sixty. Okay. What is that equivalent to? Uh, um. We're doing a ton. We're doing a ton per acre. Sixteen ounces to the pound. And how many pounds per square foot would this be? So we're putting two thousand pounds on the whole acre. Right. Uh, we're trying to figure out how many pounds that we're going to put per square foot. Well, number 15 does ask for ounces. Yeah, so yeah. 15. Yeah. Ounce per number 14. The last question is uh, how many ounces per square foot? Okay, I'll say how yeah, many yeah. ounces. <laughs> and basically, we just say 0 0.05 times 16 is putting ounces per foot. Any questions? Yeah, I've got. Do you have any more of the sheets? No. Any questions on the problems? I can get you a sheet in a little bit. I'll have to print it. I'm a 14. What was the answer you came up with? 0 0.05 pounds per foot. Per square foot? Yep. Easy enough? Yeah. I, I messed up on the last two rows. But then other than that, was, it was simple. Yeah. This is everyday math, guys, yeah. that we're going to see in, in landscape management. 
to see it if we do snow removal. When you start applying materials like that per foot, it's mm -hmm. costly. You want to make sure you're putting the right amount. Yeah. 